Well, let's start off by taking a look at the page tool because it's kind of a link between previous versions of InDesign and the new one. And it has been changed substantially. And we're going to be coming back to it again because the page tool is linked with some other new stuff in CS6 called Alternate Layout and Liquid Layout, which we'll get to a little bit later on. I'm going to click on the page tool and you can see immediately I get handles around the selected page. Now the selected page is page 1 right now. How about we go to page 5? Is page 4 selected? Well, no, it's not. The handles don't extend around page 4 and page 4 is not shaded in blue. So as far as the pages window here is concerned, page 5 is my selected page. As you might expect, I can click and drag on the handles, but watch this. When I let go, it snaps back to where it was before. If I want it to stay put, what I've got to do is hold down the Alt key and then drag the handle out, and then it stays put. And I've got a weird size on page 5, which the printer is just going to love me for. 